How the heck are you, everybody? It is towards the end of Monday. We waited as long as possible here on my account to do the Yovar and Carnelian pulls. This way, I actually got five Ancients. First time I've gotten five Ancients from the very first week. We had Guild Boss 2 Semra. I got it. That pushed us up nice and high. I bought nine more Ancients. I couldn't didn't have enough currency for the last one yet, but that's from the Immortal Codex shop. Uh, we did Void Rift already, so that's two more. I got this big, I was hoping for about 55 or 60. We got 68 summons, 68 Ancient Summons. This will be my third biggest Ancient Summoning session ever on my account in like 14 months on the account, almost now, 13 and a half months. I did do one one event I, for the first time Yovar and Carnelian came around. It was like 143 I did, and uh, I got a King Hearts, and that was it. And then I also, on what was it, the original Valderon banner, I did something, I want to say it was about 130 or 135, and we got one King Hearts. Uh, so maybe having a decent amount here, like 68 Ancient Summons, but not that big a number, we can avoid what is my luck. Fastidious. Fastidious. Like, uh, there's a lot of great things on my account. I would never say I have bad luck. I think in some ways I've got very good luck. Uh, but certainly when it comes to ancient lords, these ancient exclusive legendary lords, and just lords in general, I'm pretty cursed. So let me show you. We did get Ardia uh, on her banner, but it was the, who was she even paired with? I don't even, oh, she was with King Hearts. We did it for the memes. Uh, and we avoided King Hearts. We got Ardia. Is the curse broken? I don't know. Then on a one plus one, we pulled Leia. That was cool. Um, so not King Hearts. And we also pulled on a one plus one, Twin Fiend. Dupe Twin Fiend, but still not King Hearts, so that's something. Aside from that, you'll see this goes back 300 summons. You will not see a single hero, legendary hero here, that isn't King Hearts. King Hearts. And if we go all the way to the back, I already checked. There we go. You want another one? There you go. Another King Hearts. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I wouldn't mind a King Hearts. And then that brings us to almost five months ago. Four and a half months ago or so. That's it. You know, uh, the one Ardia, so that's a non-lord. But between that Ardia and Kata, who I pulled in February, I got nothing. I got a Twin Fiend on Pity and then two King Hearts. Can it change today? Let's very so quickly head into that gallery, see what it's all about. I will tell you guys, we're live on Twitch right now, as we always are when I do my own summons. I do all the viewer summons on YouTube. I do mine on Twitch. Got 128 viewers. That's pretty dang cool. Everyone put predictions out there. Some people think I'm getting five King Hearts. Some people think I'm getting Yovar. Some people think everything every which way in between let's go through it and let's let's see what ancients do i need what am i missing i don't have that many ancient exclusive heroes as you can see not the most luck let's go faction by faction ingrid would be thrilling i do have leia and i, I really like leia she's a new addition to the team but uh yeah ingrid is a very strong argument that she would be the number one hero to that would, would give the biggest boost to my account i'm not saying she's definitively the best i think it's her or Praetis, but i think it depends on the account for my account Snagging anger would be pretty nutty. Elder, I would love to avoid him like the plague. I already have an A4 King Hearts. That is enough legendary Northerner Lord for me. Jira would be phenomenal. That'd be really fun. Uh, Tordor would be just so exciting. You know, pull, it, it would be a slightly bittersweet pulling him on Ancients since you can also get him from normal summons. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. We can snag a Tordor. I'll do it whichever way I can. Giselle would make me cry. Admiral Cla Claw would make me cry. Luger would be pretty fun. Uh, Demi, she's cool, but I have Morgan. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose my mind, but I'm not looking for it. Carnelian, the Lady of the Hour, this is my realistic expectation. So if you don't know, you have a 1.8% chance to pull a Legendary. That's a total chance from Ancients. It's a 1% for normal Legendaries, a 0.8% chance for Lords. That means, on average, the expected value, how many summons, Ancient Summons does it take to get one Legendary, on average? It's about 55 and a half. We have 68. I'm expecting we get one Legendary. I think that'd be pretty fair. I would love for it to be Carnelian. We should have about a 25% chance if we do hit, it is her. Non-Lord, I mean, that would be great. I want that. She was, that's, this is my number one realistic, most wanted desire. I think she's the second best ancient exclusive non-Lord here in the game. For me, it's Ardia, and then it's Carnelian. I'm lucky enough to have Ardia. Let's add Carnelian to the mix. Dirtza, nah, I don't really want him. Yurden, I, I wouldn't be too upset, but yeah, not targeting it. Soul Cadence would be just incredible, but I do have A2 Twin Fiend already. It would allow me to break down my Twin Fiend, though, and get one Soul Stone back. Uh, so that would be something. If we go to Star Piercer, Yovar, it's, I can't decide, as I was prepping for this video, if I think Yovar or Valderon's my most wanted hero in the whole game. I'm not saying they're better than Ingrid and Praetis. I think they're the next two, but for me, I just think they're so cool. I think they're exciting. I think they're not fully, totally meta for everything, so that's fun. 
Yovar, I think, is more interesting, but I think Valoran, in my heart of hearts, that's my big boy. But those are my top two, so if we could get... There's a reason I'm pulling these summons on the Yovar banner. I've skipped many, many banners, right? Sargok would be super fun. Araka, it is what it is. I wouldn't complain, but, you know, we're looking for a different kind of Piercer Lord. Reseteris of Cyrus would be so cool. Vanilla would be solid. Down would be really, really fun. And finally, there's our boy. Valoran would be insane. Dawn would be super fun, too. Dasami would be very, very high on the list for me. And yeah, I think that takes you through it all, except for the unnameables. I wouldn't be upset pulling either of them. They obviously are counted as lords in this game, so they would reset the pity. I could live with it, though, because I don't have either one, so it kind of is what it is. Let's go. Let's try it. 134 viewers, 68 summons. Wish me luck. I don't know if seed hack, hunting, whatever, with summons works, but if I have a single temple that is all... Ain't all, all blues, all rares. I will restart this game. You better freaking believe it. Let's absolutely go. Whew. Are we gonna start? Are we gonna start hot? Or are we gonna start gold? I do not pull ancients very often, so I'm nervous. All right, we got an epic. That's fun. And that's it. A, a single measly Brunor. I don't love it. I do not love that. That, that, I do not love. 58. Okay, Livian. I don't like this. We're gonna restart. It's because it's two in a row with no epic lord. There's one epic on each, but just, I, is it real? I don't know, but what if it is real? What if Slate is right when it comes to, with the gear aid stuff, I'm 1000% sure it works. With this, I have no idea. But in case it is, I am not risking that. You know, we're restarting. We're restarting the game. People in chat are saying they could tell I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. I don't pull these very often. You know, I say a lot, like, I I, I don't need my account to be so overpowered, but I, I, I'm always wondering, when am I finally gonna... I don't have a single Ancient Exclusive Lord. That wasn't clear. Not one, right? I only have four total Lords, because I keep getting dupes of the same ones over and over, so... The same ones being the, the five total King Hearts I've pulled. Alright, let's go again. Let's see. Okay, we got an Epic Lord now, Lunaria. Another Brunor. And an, and an Asolda, so two Epic Lords, and we're nearly, <laughs> we're nearly halfway done. Just like that. This next temple will push us over halfway. <laughs> I don't know, man. Come on, just, just give me Carnelian. Just give me Carnelian. It's like not that much to ask. It's 68 summon, just give me one Legendary. Come on. Or nothing. We're gonna get nothing, dude. Come on. Turn gold for me. Lunaria. Jeez Louise. It's too many sessions like this, man. So I pulled Twin Fiend in March. So it's it's it was the beginning of March. So it's been half a year since I pulled any lord that wasn't King Hearts from Ancients. And uh that's it, just the two King Hearts in half a year, you know? It's, it's pretty it doesn't feel good. It really doesn't. Alright, this is our last temple. I will say, worst case, we're building pity, right? That's something. There's Livian. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Alright, eight singles. Spring. Spring is sprung. No. I'm much happier. It's, it's autumn right now. That's enough for me. I don't need any spring in my life. Soleil. Uh, you can f you can feel it, right? You can smell it on the air. This this ain't it. This ain't it. Oh my god. Well, at least we got a lord. <laughs> Alright, five more. Swords this, swordsy boy. You know it's sad too. After after these pulls, we'll have pushed the two king hearts to go out of the summoning record so it literally will just be 300 summons with the one already the one hearts and that's it uh it's pretty pretty freaking relentless man nero we got two more chances here my god dude so in total i'll have pulled over 200 summons on yovar carnelian banners I did 143 last time so this will bring us to 211 and i'll have never pulled i'll have pulled a single king hearts never pulled either of them 
All right, last one. The Drogo. All right, well, that's 68 summons. I think in total we got like 10 epics or something like that. Let's see. We got a Soleil. <laughs> we got Livia. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine epics. Nine epics for 68 ancients that I saved for quite a long time. Pretty freaking brutal. Uh, what I will say is this brings us to pity at 172. Uh, and yeah, I will say... Use this to feel better. I, I have a very hard time believing your ancient luck is worth the mine. It's not a competition, but before you go all woe is me, I think some perspective is nice. I saw someone, I'm not going to call them out by name, but they were like, I posted this video of Hawkus' summons like, hey, you're asking for the best luck? How about the worst luck? And they were like, I pulled 300 times and I got uh, Ajax and Valderon and no, no other legendaries. Dude, I would kill for that. Or, like, got, have a little perspective. I know the rates, you're not, you might not always hit legendaries as many, times as you can but to keep missing and to keep doing this it, it, it's not the best thing right so it could, it could probably be worse maybe you're un more unlucky than me uh, you know if you are i'd love to know but yeah now officially <laughs> if we go here it's just we're like we've, we've pushed our last king hearts out there's king hearts right and then the other one's pushed out now so yeah that's another 300 summons a king hearts and an ardia which already is awesome right but it's a1 her a1 10 percent defense break she doesn't need it. It's not useful. Tough luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been fastidious. Uh, I got 160 viewers, and I've got nothing to show for it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe the misery is good content. I hope it is. Let me know if you had better summons in the comments. I hope you did. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, and share with your mother. Bye. Hold me now, I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking, maybe six feet ain't so far down. Fastidious. Jesus Christ, dude.